I do. Live and in person. Live and in person. Here we are. That's right. I'm Gary. I'm Lisa. And our top story today is why this year may be a great time to sell your vacation home. Yes, there, uh, with the pandemic and the changes and things going on, um, vacation homes have never been in greater demand because people can now work from home, they can homeschool from home, and having a vacation home is about 15% of the market that's being um, sold, bought and sold. But if you're ever thinking about selling one, um, now is a great time. Yeah, second homes are right now account for about 15% of all the single family homes sold. So we see that trend getting a lot stronger. Yeah. What do you think? Since people are now working from home, working from long distances, and not having to go into the office to get their work done. Yeah, now, you know, people have found out during the pandemic that they actually like to be in smaller groups. Uh, they've been entertaining a lot at home, only seeing, you know, smaller groups of people than they're what they're used to. So it has created a really an increase in demand on vacation homes. It has, and a lot of the demand is also coming with the internet providers. So as you get further and further out, people are still needing the great internet connections to work remotely. So there is a big push when they're looking at a home, it's like, what's the internet like here? Is it, is it able to upgrade? Are we able to upgrade? What's it gonna take? What's the cell phone, cell phone service like where we're gonna move or have a second home? Yeah, that's, and it's true across the country. Um, anywhere outside, within 200 miles outside of a metro area is where VRBO and Airbnb have seen their rental rates increase uh, or demand or inquiries increase about 50%. So a anywhere that people can get on about a tank of gas, uh, they've seen that those vacation re uh, rental demand has gone up um, during this time because the hotel industry hasn't... Uh, uh, recovered as quickly as you might have thought and people are more comfortable staying in a vacation home. Right, I, and I would think the hotel industry is more based on the business traveler than the family vacations. Family vacation is very important to the hotel industry but so is the business traveler and people are just traveling a lot less. I read an article where Google is going to save one billion dollars over the last 12 months in travel expenses. That's a lot of money. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> yes, it is. Up here so I can see our comments. If you're watching this on the replay, hashtag replay. If you have any questions, we're always, we will come back in and, and answer them. So we are always here to answer your questions, whatever you may have. Yes, we'll circle back on those. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we just wanted to, um, that, what I was talking about though, within 200 mile radius of the metro areas, and this isn't just beaches, this could be mountains too. So anywhere that people can just get out of their regular, you know, city life. They are in demand. So if you live somewhere or you own a second home, this year might be the best year to sell it. That's right, because people are out there looking, and this is a great time to sell it, and then get the second home that you're probably going to use more if you're not using your second home, or a lot of people have gone to Airbnb, depending on the local constraints and restrictions on that. But there are plenty of opportunities out there to sell your second home right now and buy a second home that may be more useful for you or that you may use a little more often. Right, and what we have found is, you know, really working remotely has created people with all kinds of options because now if you don't have to go into the office or don't have to go as often, um, maybe not even your second home, but your primary home can be a little further away from the office or in the mountains or at the beaches uh, from where you have lived in the past. Yeah, the market couldn't be better for you right now to get exactly the home you want with the low interest rates, with the screaming hot seller's market. The buyers are buying too. I mean, if for a seller to sell, a buyer has to buy. So the buyers are out there, the sellers are out there, and we're seeing more inventory coming on the market. The slight uptick. Slightly. Slight uptick. So well, it's that time of year. We're looking at spring. Spring is sprung. And we're getting more and more activity on the seller side and the buyer side both. Yes, yeah, so I've seen the demand. Um, of course, it's crazy the stories that you've heard. Believe me, we are li living them from 
you know, $10,000 over asking to $400,000 over asking, it is uh, just wild. We've heard some wild stories. <laughs> well, yeah, but that doesn't mean that every home gets multiple offers. There are circumstances where it's difficult to get people in to see properties. It's difficult for, uh, once you get them in, for them to see through what's there to get multiple offers. It all still basically comes down to price. Yeah. Well, and of course, the houses that are in better condition and easy to show are always the ones that bring the top dollar quickest. It is. Every single time. We've mm -hmm. seen that over and over. And that doesn't matter whether you're in a seller's market, a buyer's market, or in a neutral market. That's always going to be the case. Yeah, it's going to be in, uh, interesting to see how, pe how people's summer vacation plans come together. I was talking to a whole bunch of uh, moms yesterday, and really no one has any vacation plans for the summer yet which I thought was unusual because everyone's kind of coming out of it and people are starting to travel. Uh, maybe it's just because we have a junior and junior year and junior su uh, summer has a lot of uh, demands on a high schooler. <laughs> maybe that's why people haven't planned their summer vacations. But uh, I think that a lot of people are going to be uh, pursuing that uh, vacation rental home uh, as we move forward. I heard too that Disneyland in California is reopening, reopened I think last week with reservations, but you can only go if you're a California resident. So we have a good friend who they, their family's coming to visit with the grandkids and they can't go because the family lives at, uh, out of state. So I didn't know that. I didn't either. That the rules are, are California residents only. So we'll see how that unfolds. Cause I know Disney World in Florida has been open uh, I think pretty much the whole time they were open last summer, uh, but Disneyland California is reopened for you California residents. <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay, that's explosive. Well, there's only 40 million of us, so that right. should be a big enough draw. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. So in light of vacation rent rental, we do live a big piece of our market here in Ventura County is coastal, so I thought I would talk a little bit about our coastal statistics. Oh, and good. one of the, <laughs> I just pulled them all to show you kind of what the demand and what our situation is. And I broke it up the way our MLS breaks up our areas. So one of our beach areas here is coastal above downtown Ventura. So between Ventura and Carpinteria is one section of uh, what we have oceanfront homes in that area. And guess how many homes are for sale in that whole re section? Thousands. That would be one. There is one active <laughs> listing from Ventura up into the county line, which is Santa Barbara County line. So there's one. So if you're interested and you'd like to see it, give me a call. It's about three and a half million dollars oceanfront. Um, and then the next segment of property is from the city of Ventura down um, on the coastal section. And that area, which includes our boat dock homes and our Ventura Pierpont Beach area, um, and some, co some condos there along the promenade, the total n n uh, number of homes and condos available, how many? Well, it's got to be less than thousands. Let's say 1,000. Seven. There are seven active properties, three of which are in the same condo building on the oceanfront, but that's half the inventory that's available. <laughs> well, that's amazing. I mean, Ventura County has close to a million people in population, so mm -hmm. when you're looking at seven homes, that's not very many. Right. So there's trying to give you an idea of what the demand is. And if you've ever thought of selling a home, your vacation home, or a home you inherited, um, now might be the time. Um, now, if you add in there Oxnard and Port Wainimi, they're glumped together because Oxnard Beach and Port Wainimi Beach kind of run together. Um, there are a total of 32 available, excuse me, 34 available homes. It's area 32 in our MLS, but there are 34 active single family homes and condos in that whole section. Now that's a pretty wide swath. That's why there's more. And I include all the condos. They have more condos than we do in Ventura. That's right. Oxnard is the largest city in Ventura County but with still, a population of about close to 250,000 people just in the one city. Right. And Oxnard is the story we just heard. There was a million dollar uh, beach property for sale in Oxnard Shores and that they have a $350,000 over asking uh, bid and then one even higher than that. So it's just kind of nutty. It is. Well, yes, if you want it, you want it. So. That's right. <laughs> if you want a beach house, you want that's a beach what it's going to cost. Yeah. That's right. 
Um, and then Ojai, which is a vacation area here, especially for people in LA County, there are 36 homes available, homes and condos, 36. And then Carpinteria, just beyond us is uh, Ventura Carpinteria. There are 27 properties available right now, four on the beach side of the freeway, four. That's it. Yeah, that's not many. That's just a few. It's just crazy. So I just thought we'd give you an update on what's happening with vacation homes, especially in our area. And now just might be the right time and the right year to sell that vacation home if you're not using it or your life situation has changed um, or you have little kids and figured out you're going to be at baseball practice at home every Saturday <laughs> as the sports uh, ramp up for, li for littler kids. Now might be the time. It sure could be. And we would be just the ones to help you as far as consult with you and let's come up with a price and a marketing strategy that's going to get it so quickly for the highest amount of money. Yep. So, you know, we love real estate here in Ventura County and all over the place. And you can always find us at GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. That's a wrap. That's a wrap.